Hello and welcome back to FIFA Manager 2020 here again on Rosco Gaming together with Wooking, uh, not Wooking, Bell City FC of course that we're trying to take to the top of Premier League and beyond. And uh, yeah, Wooking is uh, the club I always show us just when us when I were younger and played this game when it actually was released in the 2000 and 2010s and also in Championship Manager and Football Manager uh, I pretty much always picked the uh, walking and also in, also in Total Club Manager if we want to go back a really uh, long time but uh, enough of uh, talk about working because we are playing with Bass City FC and nothing else. So we are having a match coming up here and we have uh, our goalkeeper that is fit again so that's good. Or a long goalkeeper and uh, quite a few injuries that is not so good but uh, yeah our team rating on only 499. Bauer in terrible form so not getting to play here really. Uh, and also poor fitness and energy and gut rich actually in even worse form actually our whole defense in catastrophic form so hopefully they can do a good match and get uh, up <laughs> get up a little bit in terms of form because this is just uh, horrible to be honest uh, but we'll see here uh, and our team is too young according to uh, to our staff I don't agree I want youngsters all around those are the players that uh, can actually develop to anything good and useful and uh, we'll do assistant manager here to fix their reserves and we'll do for this episode uh, mixes of uh, instant result and three in the match so for this one we'll do instant result here versus Chippenham Town or team rating 499 and there's 486 so we should have a good chance of winning this game especially since we are playing at home so we'll go in with a fight for every ball and uh, hopefully we'll make some magic happen here in this game our defense is at least holding up so far for uh, the match so that's good uh, doesn't really seems to be happening that much uh, so far and we'll say I know you can do better and we'll let our assistant to the halftime talks and come on give us a goal give us something good we need something to happen here and unfortunately not the game ends zero to zero after full time and, and nothing at all really happening Shots 42, shots on target 2 to 0, chances 43, and possession 61 to 39%. So, definitely dominated that game overall, but unfortunately, weren't able to capitalize on it, which is a shame. Uh, moving up one place to 12th in the league, 8 points off from the league leaders who happen to be Wooking. So, <laughs> there you have it. Wooking is a good and great. Uh, lower league a club to play around with if you want to and as you see here they have very good uh, average attendance so uh, that were one of the reasons I always chose, choose them because uh, they had pretty good finances or uh, pretty good chance to have good finances at least. So continuing on here uh, next match will be a 3 new match I think. Uh, I, I will just mix it on depending on how I feel for each and single match, I think. So that's uh, pr probably what we're going to do. And uh, hopefully we have a bit of a fitter team here for this next match. Team dynamics, play objectives. We are having more play objectives met than uh, on a met, but we have <coughs> a bit of a worryingly high number of players that have their objective unmet unfortunately but hopefully we can uh, change that and uh, for this match uh, we can get up our team rating to 515 at least so that's good uh, Bauer still sitting out to do to poor form and so is Tom Smith Bauer 
I'm not really sure why we are still playing uh, Gutridge instead, but uh, Gutridge is decent, I guess. We'll have a little bit of low form as well. Uh, but yeah, only minus one. And they do need the experience, and it's a player that can develop quite a lot here for us, so it's not too bad to play him at least. Uh, so let's check the new center here. Uh, nothing really interesting happening. Uh, we'll check the team dynamics. Who should we talk to now? So Schultz. And uh, let's see here. How is your form? Not that great. Nice. So perfect shape for next game. And uh, we'll just go to the match here. I'll let the assistant manager handle that. And we'll go for three in the match for this match. Uh, I guess way modes. And, and uh, our team rating 516 versus their 541. And ridiculously same uh, match, uh, match close there. So uh, we'll actually switch that and go with that because this is a real uh, classic Bass FC. <laughs> stand i guess you could call it and uh, we'll go out there and say give it your best we had a lot of options there of team talks but all very ris risky ones so don't want to go in with a risky talk against a better team but then again maybe that's where you should do that rather than against a poor team or a worse team because that only builds unnecessary pressure versus uh, a easy team um, yeah don't know actually might be something to think about uh, how you're doing at least for uh, next time around uh, we're facing a stronger opponent if you if i would maybe want to try to do uh, something else so as soon as the game start we'll do we'll do four times the speed straight away and uh, for this match, what will we do? Will we, I think for once, we will do highlights. Raider. All right, so 30%, sure. Visual distribution, sure. And uh, we'll do only, we'll do highlights. So first highlight of the game for Bassity here, and it's a shot, and it's a, a bit outside. Actually, a decent sort of highlight. So that's good at least. Often, uh, often when doing screen matches, the highlights and everything is just not that highlightly, so to say, and poor. But uh, that certainly were a highlight, and it's a goal here for Weymouth. Unfortunately, taking a lead here in uh, the 15 minute mark or something like that. And in all honesty, it looks like uh, that should have been taken by the keeper. And then maybe we can come back here by Brunt. And it is a comeback and an equalization. And it's a goal by Brunt there. Striking the ball beautifully and putting it into the top corner of the goal. So after 15 minutes... Uh, that goal actually came, so 1-1 one, one after 15 minutes. So definitely an exciting game here so far. Hopefully we can continue to have just that, and hopefully we can come out winning in the end. So next highlight here looks to be for Weymouth this time. So uh, we'll see here what happens when we come with the ball and shoots wide luckily for us and we see you there looking at uh, the comments Brunt actually did his seventh goal there already so uh, done quite a few goals here for uh, for the season since we are only at match day seven so actually he's averaged one goal per match so far And we have had a couple of highlights and have another highlight here for Weymouth and uh, just waiting for it to be a goal. This time actually really close but outside of the goal on the right hand side of the right post. Then Bass with a chance there just over the goal actually. And my, my voice and throat actually starting to crack up. 
uh, getting really irritated in uh, in my throat. I actually ju- just did an episode before this in uh, Snowtopia, which I had uh, had a bit of trouble uh, from time to time and had to cut it cut it short due to bugs with the game and also due to my voice not really keep me up but uh, we did have a goal there for Bassity while I were uh, commenting on something else totally so we are actually leading the game 2 to 1 here just before the end of the first half which should come any second here first another highlight a corner there that weren't really dangerous at all but uh, all right and there we have it so as I said the scoreline 2 to 1 for Bassett versus Weymouth after half time. And we'll say let's continue just like this. Atmosphere down to 6, so that's not good. So we need to do some uh, team activity after this match. So got to remember that. Other than that, we'll try to keep up the same here. And uh, hopefully we can do something good. It's Macomb and Waymod here with another chance, but shooting straight at the keeper this time. So if they keep doing that for the rest of the match, that is going to be fine, so to say. And the next highlight of the match. Let's see it with the control of the ball, but... Uh, not really losing the ball and getting a yellow card there. And Weymouth with a free kick here. And Bassett actually picking up the ball but only losing it straight to Weymouth again. And uh, Weymouth getting in here maybe, no. Not really. Bassett here on a counter-attack. Seems I'm passing out to Craig here on the right hand wing but nothing happening. The highlight cutting just as it got exciting. Next highlight is here instead for uh, Weymouth. And shooting again straight at the keeper. And uh, we're fine with uh, that, as I said. No trouble at all with that, actually. So, 50 minutes to go here, and hopefully we can keep, keep this score until then. That would be really great for us and uh, hopefully we can do just that and another highlight, highlight here and this time for Bassity, Bassity versus the keeper and shooting in the keeper save there but good quality on that finish actually uh, one on one took the finish maybe a little bit early but uh, that is fine and before we are ending this game here remember to smash that like button if you are enjoying the show also, if you haven't done so already, but want to follow along on our journey here in FIFA Manager 2020, do remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you're interested in knowing how you can install FIFA Manager 2020 yourself, I have a link in the description to a tutorial on how to install it. Also a link in the description to where you can buy the game for a decent price. And I actually get a small percentage of... Uh, of, uh, of the price there, so actively helping uh, and supporting the channel if you're doing that. So very much appreciated if you're doing that. And uh, we actually managed to hold it together for the whole match here. So the end result for Bassett versus Weymouth is 2-1. to one. Very happy about that. And the stats, shots 5-8, to eight, shots on targets 3-1, to one, chances 5-8 to eight, and... Possession 52 to 48 percent and uh, still 12th in the league and still eight points off from the league leaders. But uh, a good win there for us, definitely. And we select the team, not the media. We are not really caring about media whatsoever. Uh, so we'll not let them steer us in, as said, any way whatsoever. So we're always going to say, something like that to the, to the press and we need to get in uh, with a uh, team uh, team spirit here so we'll go to a restaurant and hopefully that will build the atmosphere a little bit on the team spirit 
And we are having a tough game here against the uh, Brackley Town for sure. But we can uh, have our team rating up to 528 at least, so that's pretty good. And the restaurant visit without team mat power. And team atmosphere improved. Right down, yeah. I'm not really sure either why he have his motivation or uh, so much down. But I guess he's missing. I guess both of these players actually might want a lot more paid. I think that might be the problem. I will say it to Jonas Simpson to get the to do more in training. I feel like we have at least a couple of players that are around the 50, 50 level mark that are not really improving and doing their best to get even better, uh, which is frustrating. So for this match, we'll do three, not the three the match, we'll do instant result. So as I said, team rating up to 528 versus Brackley's 558. So it uh, will definitely be a tough game. And... Uh, Will take away their enjoy enjoyment of playing football. Seems to be a pretty good choice to take here in the pre match speak speech, uh, since the team must not lose against stronger opponents. At least the result should be acceptable. So that uh, do include uh, losing the game, uh, I would say at least. Uh, so that ones all were that we were not going to lose or that we are going to win the game and I feel like that's not a guarantee either of those and you can do better don't stick your heads in the sand uh, more of the same of a speech here uh, so we'll do that unfortunately uh, the speech there first uh, minus zero and Matt Bauer getting two yellow cards there so uh, we are not getting a respectable results here so we're probably going to lose quite a lot of trust and atmosphere and everything here after that, this match that ended up a one to four for Bassett versus Brackley Town unfortunately not at all what we wanted to happen here shots three to eight shots on target two to four Chances 3 to 11 and the possession 40 to 60 percent. So, definitely a well deserved win for Brackley and a well deserved loss for us. And overall, poor rating on all our players. Unfortunately, dropping down to 14th place here in the league, 11 points off from the league leaders. And how are we doing in total chances? Yeah, we're not doing that great. I thought we were doing better. Uh, we are converting the chances pretty good, but not creating as many chances as we as we would like. And sports dropping down now here. Trust from the board down to 15. And we are <coughs> about to meet another top team here, Braintree Town. So we're having a tough couple of matches here for sure. And... Uh, how to say, gotta love it, or you gotta hate it. Uh, depends on the game here, <laughs> a, little, a little bit, I guess. But uh, yeah. So we move forward here to this match, and I think this might be the last match of this episode. So cutting this episode probably a little bit on the short side than usual, uh, but that's due to my voice and everything, actually. So 5.15 of team rating is what we're having at the moment. Matt Power not getting to play and I understand that. Uh, uh, let's see here. Pocket Cliff is still suffering from his knock. Unfortunately, Peter Burrow and Walson offer us many jobs. Uh, but we are not really moving so that's not interesting for us we are sticking with the club until end of time so to say uh, roster perfect shape for next game he's in uh, 11 in form that's decent but uh, 
don't know what else to say to the old lad. And we'll do the instant result for this match as well here. Uh, our team rating 515 versus their 534. Uh, so we'll go out there and give it our best. Uh, we'll not risk risk uh, doing a bad talk here again. So we'll take it a little bit on the easy side, definitely. So, so far no goals in the first half at least. But all chances seem to be for Brain Tree Town there. Pretty much if you were watching the middle gauge, so to say. And yeah, they have five shots, unfortunately, zero on target if we were looking at the stats here. But then again, these stats are always not correct. And I uh, wouldn't say just play like we practice in training because I don't feel like this was any good. As we here, up to 10 after our halftime talks at least and teamwork 65. So actually not that bad and we could have a chance here, <laughs> we're about to say, but... Uh, very poor start here on the second half for Bad City and Brain, T Trown, Brain Tree Town putting in two goals very fast there in the beginning of the second half. So the full-time results for Bad City versus Brain Tree Town is 0-2-2. Shots 1 to 7, shots on target 1 to 1, chances 3 to 7, or not 3 to 7, 3 to 11, possession 39 to 61%. So definitely well deserved there for Brain Tree Town, and the week didn't come up to the level that we need to. Still 14th in the league, 10 points off from the league leaders. And uh, <coughs> let's see here. World play gala. We are not really caring about that. Trust in sports going down again to 14. And uh, yeah, I can understand that. This is uh, not really where we want to be, but uh, yeah, I don't think we will reach that much higher. We should be aiming for fighting for a uh, playoff spot but uh, it's a long way up and like here 10th best in the league is 540 in team rating and we are not not really reaching that poker cliff will come in here soon so that's at least going to be uh, good for us because this level is 49 soon 47 uh, so that will increase our team rating quite a bit and if we all can get uh, the players correct so to say, uh, Beal here, unfortunately not developing as we want here, really. Yeah, uh, dropping there quite a lot, but don't know why. But this game this season, and then again, dropped a little bit in level, but uh, it should be all right. And uh, yeah, I think we'll cut it here. Uh, so thank you so much for watching, and uh, hopefully, I will see you next time here on the channel. Thank you, and bye bye. You have been watching Rosco Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.